big investment. But I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it for the money. I didn't do it for the money. I did it to feel purposeful in my life. The joy is being successful at something. And this is an opportunity to be successful with something that is healing. Growing Belushi, new series, Wednesday, August 19th on Discovery. Well, the one thing, I mean, watch, look, watching, watching Growing Belushi, I love you because you're like the king of your kingdom. And it's such a great thing with with your with, with all your, uh, your 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 vassals and your serpent but then all you know the royalty. Can you sort of talk about that, especially that kingdom? That's its own little world up in Medford for you. And I know you love it, but can you uh, can you talk about it a little bit? Well, I uh, I wouldn't know what uh, would call it a kingdom. I still feel like a serf on the farmland. That's for sure. The kingdom I'm serving is you know is agriculture. I mean, no, you're the king. As you're an the actor, king, you're yeah. always like the king of your show, or like according to Jim. But in here, the, here the king is really the cannabis because it serves bigger purposes. Uh, I'm just a, I'm a farmer, man. Yeah. What do you mean I'm a farmer? I mean, it's crazy. It's much easier to memorize other people's lines than it is to grow something from seed to flower. Let me tell you. Yeah, difficult, and it's and we capture it on the show. It's really fun, informative, music, and uh, it's meaningful. There's some meaningful things about trauma and how cannabis can help with trauma. It's 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 a mission from God. It's a lot of marijuana. Yeah. I started this thing because I had all this land, and I went, why don't we grow marijuana? This isn't like growing in your closet, hiding from your mom. This is like legal. I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I'm a dancer, and now I'm a farmer. But, and that's why it's so great to see, you know, all the people that you have, you know, you have Dan come and talk, talk you know, because I know Dan's out on Martha's as well, and then Judy and all that. Could you talk, because having family, there and having friends and everything is so important. I mean, I love Captain Jack just because that's a heart fact as well. Could you talk about having people around? Because you're such a people person anyway, I think, and you just sort of love that. Can you talk about that a little? Oh, well, I, I, you know, I brought some people in. My cousin Chris, who uh, came to visit, and he never left because I needed some help managing this farm. He's crazy funny. He's never been on camera. He was, he's quite good in the show. And then there's Captain Jack, who was a, you know, he was the dealer or the backstage guy at Saturday Night Live in the mid seventies. And he had a very unique strain from Afghanistan, which were growing. He was known as the smell of SNL, but he's an old craggy guy. Then I got Ben and Alex, who are kind of like 23 and 25, who can really represent what's going on in that generation. And they're difficult. <laughs> or maybe I'm the difficult one. And then there's then there's everyone who works at the farm. It's from the Medford, Southern Oregon area, who are beautiful, beautiful people. It's really a family. It's a family show on a farm with the with the head guy not knowing what the hell he's doing. I consider myself a misfit. And I created a group of misfits. He's like picking up stray dogs. Okay, everybody, grab, hold hands. What are we doing my family? Let's eat. Tomahawk is in. He is the Illinois alpha male. He is strong, passionate, driven. He doesn't let up. He's like a dog. Let's go some weed. Well, I've known Jim since he was 11. We all thought he was probably going to be a Plumber. And it started out like really great. Then all of a sudden I realized my visions are way bigger than reality. <laughs> Jim knew nothing. Now they're gonna grow overnight. The one thing I you know, you talking to camera, some of those bits are I and I I love we love watching them either in front of the Belushi front of the barn or inside the greenhouse, they're just the greatest. I mean, talking to talking to the plants, playing the music, all this kind of stuff, it's just so organic. It's just so you. You know, can you sort of talk about that and sort of having that one-on-one -on -one, uh, 
forth with the plants, but with the audience. It just it just feels so natural. Well, it was it, it, it was a unique kind of uh, formula, or uh, uh, not even formula, it's just a, a, an idea of a show. James Orm, who's partners with it, he said he wanted to do an inner monologue where it's a stream of consciousness where I just talk to the camera. And I do that in front of every episode and then we kind of cut it up as stream of consciousness. So it's a nice relationship. The audience sees where I'm coming from and my fears and uh, really gets an insight to me. It's a really interesting technique and it really works in growing Belushi. Uh, is that what you're talking about? But also, you know, I sing to the plants, you know, they love music. I got speakers. I play baby making music in the morning, you know, Marvin Gaye, Teddy Pettigrass. And then at lunch, I play, you know, reggae music. And then in the afternoon, blues, funk. And then when I harvest them, I play gospel music. So they know the, they are going into the light to heal. It's quite fun. He goes naked in the river all the time. He does say, if you don't want to see it, then turn around. So that's exactly what I do. <laughs> I love my cousin. I mean, he's probably one of the warmest, uh, most spiritual people that I've ever met. He's really trying to make this farm successful. I think the operation really needed some structure. I came to visit here at the farm about nine weeks ago, and I've yet to leave. Uh, and my last thing, I'll let you go, Jim. Thanks so much. Is that just the, but that beauty of that area, that beauty of that farm, just sort of the, you know, it, it's, a, the cannabis is a beautiful thing, and I love that that's there, but it's also that farm, that river and everything. There's just sort of a zen thing going, and I can see why you love it. Can you talk about your passion for both that farm, but also for the cannabis and just sort of that, because you get that vision, that focus, and that's just awesome. But you're having you're having a lot of fun, and I can tell. Well, I'm right in the middle of this kind of vortex of beauty. I got Table Rock on one side, which is a great spiritual plateau that the Native Americans, you know, centered their rituals around. And then I got Mount McLaughlin, which is a beautiful mountain. And then there's the river right next to me. And I'm in this little valley. It is like this little basket of, of peace. And I kind of walked into it and it just kind of absorbed me, you know, and then that kind of sensibility led me to this plant. And what I learned from this plant is the medicine involved. It's a path off of opiates for veterans and overprescribed patients. It's a path to relieve anxiety, inflammation, sleeplessness, depression, Alzheimer's, seizures, even hopelessness. Cannabis, marijuana, Mary Jane, ganj, grass, whatever you want to call it, it's cannabis. Three elements of cannabis, T, H, C. That's what gets you high. Or it makes you really low. And C, B, D. Helps with inflammation. It helps with a little anxiety. It helps you go to sleep. Terpenes are the flavor. Like when you take a sip of wine, you go, mmm, earthy feeling. But in cannabis, terpenes add to the entourage effect. The blending of the three of them and Captain Jack has the best combination. 18% THC, 2% CBD, 4% terpenes. Guess why it's so special? No paranoia, feel really social, and you can get along with the wife. I'm basing this business on this Captain Jack strain because I believe in it so much. You know, and it also it stimulates creativity, enhances music. Uh, the taste of food, the touch of your lover's skin. They can bring joy, euphoric feelings, and the higher consciousness that leads to compassion and empathy for others. I mean, all of this is part of the wellness of cannabis. And I learned all this on the farm, farming. And it's all in the show. It's just a beautiful show. It's got all the elements in it. No, it definitely does. Well, thanks, Jim. Farmer Jim, I love well, it. Well, the second episode... The second episode coming up is where we go to Colombia. I oh, took my cousin Chris to Colombia and for nine days, and I, I picked up a camera crew, and we improvised for nine days. I mean, it is some real fun and interesting stuff. I mean, we're just improvising. It was great. Oh, oh, that's, oh I can't wait to see that, Jim. Well, thanks, Jim. Always great talking to you. I, I love seeing, seeing you do this. And 
Uh, have a great day. Stay safe. And uh, always love your work, sir. Thank you so much, man. Thanks again for your support. Nice to see you again, although I can't see you. 